Very few people had really studied the ancient Indian civilization, even though it is thousands of years old. India, a land where every stone has a story to tell and every monument stands as a testament to the civilizations that once thrived. Our adventure today will weave through the architectural wonders, the cultural gems, and the ancient echoes that reverberate through the corridors of time. So, whether you're a history buff or just someone eager to uncover the mysteries of the past, join us as we unravel the layers of history in this exploration of six Indian historical sites everyone should visit. 1. The World's First Residential University Ever wondered about a place where wisdom was not just learned but revered? Where scholars from across the ancient world gathered to unlock the secrets of knowledge? Well, lean in, because we're about to unravel the mysteries of the ancient university of Nalanda. Nalanda, often dubbed the world's first residential university, wasn't merely a center for learning. It was a crucible of intellect, a beacon that drew minds from as far as Greece, Persia, China, and beyond. Picture this, a sprawling campus adorned with majestic stupas and students engaged in spirited discussions on philosophy, astronomy, medicine, and more. Founded around the 5th century CE in present-day Bihar, India, Nalanda stood as a testament to India's commitment to education. Nestled along the banks of the Ganges River in Bihar, the ancient University of Nalanda emerged as a beacon of intellectual brilliance during its peak from the 5th to the 12th century CE. Initially established under the patronage of the Gupta dynasty, it flourished as a center for learning, attracting scholars and students from far-flung corners of the ancient world. The sprawling complex, adorned with temples, meditation halls, and living quarters, accommodated thousands and exemplified a fusion of Gupta and Buddhist architectural styles. Nalanda's curriculum was incredibly diverse, encompassing astronomy, mathematics, medicine, philosophy, literature, and linguistics. It reached its zenith under the patronage of Emperor Ashoka, and luminaries like the Chinese scholar Xuanzang enriched their understanding here before chronicling their experiences. Despite its illustrious history, Nalanda's decline in the 12th century, attributed to factors like invasions, marked the end of its glorious era. Today, its ruins stand testament to an epoch when the pursuit of knowledge transcended boundaries and there are ongoing efforts to revive its legacy as a symbol of academic excellence. 2. The Mystical Sculptures of Unakoti and the Curse of Shiva in the heart of the Kailashahar subdivision in Tripura, India, lies the mystical Unakoti, a site brimming with ancient sculptures of immense historical and mythological significance. Surrounded by lush forests, these enigmatic reliefs depict Hindu gods and goddesses, with a towering 30-foot sculpture of Lord Shiva, known as Unakoti Swara, or Kalbhairava, reigning over the landscape. Unakoti, meaning one less than a crore in Sanskrit, is believed to date back to the 7th to 9th centuries. Nestled amidst lush greenery, it boasts an open-air art gallery featuring countless rock-cut sculptures, most notably a massive rock relief of Lord Shiva, known as Unakotiswara Kal Bhairava. Legend has it that during a divine journey to Kashi, Lord Shiva and a multitude of deities stopped at Unakoti for the night. When the others failed to wake up before sunrise as instructed by Shiva, he cursed them to become stone images, resulting in the myriad sculptures scattered across the site. The main attraction, Unakotiswara Kalbahairava, stands at a towering height surrounded by myriad other carved figures of gods, goddesses, and celestial beings. The site is a fascinating blend of Hindu mythology and ancient craftsmanship, making it a unique pilgrimage destination and a captivating archaeological site. As you wander through the mystical forest, each sculpture seems to whisper tales of bygone eras, adding an aura of mystery to the already enchanting atmosphere of Unakoti. 3. Konark Sun Temple In the coastal state of Odisha, India, stands the magnificent Konark Sun Temple, a UNESCO World Heritage Site renowned for its architectural grandeur and artistic finesse. 
Built in the 13th century by King Narasimha Deva I, the temple is a testament to the architectural brilliance of the Kalinga dynasty. Dedicated to the sun god Surya, the temple's design represents the chariot of the sun god with 12 pairs of exquisitely carved wheels, each intricately detailed and serving as sundials. However, in the realms of Indian mythology, the genesis of the awe-inspiring Konark Sun Temple is intertwined with the journey of Samba, son of the legendary Lord Krishna. Afflicted with leprosy, Samba sought solace through intense penance, capturing the attention of the radiant sun god, Surya. Impressed by Samba's devotion, Surya granted him a life-altering boon to build a grand temple in his honor. Thus, the Konark Sun Temple emerged, a testament to the celestial pact between man and God, where stone and myth converged to create a marvel that transcends time. The intricate carvings and celestial alignments of Konark invite us to witness a cosmic dance etched into the very fabric of its existence. The Konark Sun Temple is a marvel of ancient engineering and artistic expression, showcasing an array of intricately carved sculptures that depict various aspects of life, mythology, and celestial beings. The temple's main sanctum, once housing a colossal image of the sun god, is now in ruins. But the intricacy and detailing of the surviving sculptures provide a glimpse into the temple's former glory. Despite the passage of centuries and the challenges posed by time, nature, and human activity, the Konark Sun Temple remains a captivating destination, drawing visitors from around the world who marvel at its architectural splendor and cultural significance. The site stands as a tribute to the artistic achievements of medieval India and offers a profound connection to the spiritual and historical tapestry of the region. 4. The Kajuraho Temples Nestled in the heart of India, the Kajuraho temples form a stunning complex renowned for their exquisite architecture and intricate carvings. Built between the 9th and 11th centuries by the Shandela dynasty, these temples are located in the town of Kajuraho in the state of Madhya Pradesh. The temples are known for their distinct Nagara-style architecture, with intricately carved sculptures that depict various aspects of life, love, spirituality, and the divine. What sets the Kajuraho temples apart is the sensuous and intricate nature of their sculptures, particularly in the Western group of temples. The carvings beautifully capture the nuances of human emotions, showcasing scenes from daily life, mythical narratives, and celestial beings. The temples are dedicated to Hindu deities like Vishnu and Shiva, reflecting the religious and cultural diversity of the period. Despite the ravages of time, weather, and invasions, a significant number of these temples have survived, and their architectural beauty has earned them UNESCO World Heritage status. The Kajuraho temples stand as a remarkable testament to the artistic achievements of medieval India, inviting visitors to marvel at the intricate craftsmanship and cultural richness of this ancient site. 5. The Magnificent Sanchi Stupa in the heart of India, atop a serene hill in the state of Madhya Pradesh, stands the timeless Sanchi Stupa, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the oldest stone structures in India. Commissioned by Emperor Ashoka in the 3rd century BCE, the stupa serves as a symbol of Buddhist heritage and architecture. Its construction marked a significant period in the spread of Buddhism, with Ashoka promoting the principles of non-violence and compassion. The Sanchi Stupa is a remarkable architectural marvel with its hemispherical dome crowned by a central spire called the Yasti. Adorned with intricately carved gateways or taranas, these depict scenes from the life of Buddha, Jataka tales, and various other Buddhist motifs. The Great Stupa is surrounded by a railing with four gateways at cardinal points, each telling a unique narrative through its carvings. Surrounded by lush greenery, the site exudes tranquility, and serves as a pilgrimage destination for Buddhists worldwide. The Sanchi Stupa remains an enduring testament to the cultural and spiritual significance of Buddhism in ancient India, offering visitors a glimpse into the rich history and artistic legacy of this sacred site. 6. The Ancient Ruins of Hampi Hampi, 
a UNESCO World Heritage Site located in the state of Karnataka, India, is a mesmerizing archaeological and historical treasure. Once the capital of the mighty Vijayanagara Empire, Hampi is now a captivating open-air museum that showcases the grandeur of its past. The ruins of Hampi sprawl over a vast, rocky landscape, revealing intricate temples, palaces, market streets, and other architectural marvels that date back to the 14th century. The Virupaksha Temple, dedicated to Lord Shiva, is a prominent centerpiece in Hampi, known for its towering gopuram and finely detailed sculptures. The Hampi Bazaar, flanked by ancient market complexes, adds to the immersive experience, offering glimpses of the vibrant commerce that once thrived in this historic city. The ruins of the Vitala Temple are particularly renowned for the iconic stone chariot, a marvel of Vijayanagara artistry. Surrounded by the otherworldly landscape of massive boulders and the Tungabhadra River, Hampi is not just a historical site, but a visual spectacle that transports visitors back in time. It is a destination that seamlessly blends history, spirituality, and natural beauty, drawing travelers and history enthusiasts alike to explore the remnants of a bygone era in this enchanting corner of Karnataka. As we conclude our journey through the wonders of these historical sites, I hope you've enjoyed this exploration as much as I have. From the rich history of India to the intricate details of its landmarks, there's always something awe-inspiring to discover. If you found this video informative, or if it sparked a newfound curiosity, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with fellow adventurers. And of course, if you haven't already, Consider subscribing to our channel for more virtual travels and deep dives into fascinating destinations. Your support truly means the world and keeps the exploration alive. Thank you for joining us on this adventure. Until next time, keep exploring, stay curious, and embrace the beauty of our diverse world.